Welcome back. Good lord. The, the conversations. Welcome back to Skyrim Fits and Starts. This is episode 3 of the prologue with Manfred Tusterson. He came here. This is Riften, of course. He came here from... Oh my god, they just don't shut up, do they? Uh, Riften is always hard for Manfred to come back to because, of course, he grew up here at Honor Hall. He does not have great memories of this town or his time there, uh, but he needed to come back here, see if he could find a lantern to light his way in the Shroud Hearth Barrow, and to sell a couple of items, which he did. So, uh, a quick... Uh, a quick refill uh, and a drink at the well. Make love like a saber cat. You're a strip. You're here too, huh? Giant vegetable. Only a man 20. Never seen yours. Alright, that's enough. The city really oh, gets Aaron, me. go away. Uh, so, a quick refill of that and uh, a bite to eat. An apple or two. And we're going to dash back. We found a, a horse in Iverstead that we could ride without stealing, which was very handy. I don't know you. Uh, oh, God. You and Riften no. looking for trouble. Don't you remember me from years ago? I'm not scared of you at all. That's the wrong answer. Well, it's the Last right thing answer the Blackbriars need around here is some troublemaker trying to steal a piece of the. You can yeah. pretend not to hear me. I'm you want, not but pretending. You stay I am out not of the Black hearing you. Business. You just shut the bloody hell up. You're just a hired fist and nothing more. No brains, no nothing. So, anyway, uh, the horse that I procured at in Iverstad I rode over here or well I didn't uh, Manfred did and welcome to Riften Come she's peace. right here so have you but we're not going to ride her nice. back uh, we're going to fast travel because it's a lot quicker and easier she'll follow us along uh, so let's fast travel back to Iverstad I am. Uh, I have played so many hours of Skyrim and played so many of them uh, with the rule of no fast travel that I'm, I'm. I'm honestly getting sick of it. It's it's a nice thing to try to adhere to, but to be honest, I have started to grow tired of it. So. I'm going to do a mix of it, and of course I won't drag anybody along on long journeys from one place to another. I'll either edit them out or I'll talk the whole time, which will bore people to tears. Uh, so let's, uh, let's get this set up, and we're also going to put on our Ring of Storm King. Uh, I bought some lantern oil, so the lantern should work. Uh, I want to make sure that staying out of trouble, Kinsman. Out. Yes. So I think we're ready, though we still have no bow, uh, which we want. Uh, we did level up one level and took the first point of one-handed. I felt that was the best choice at this point, since all I have is my steel sword and shield. So. We took the first point of one-handed, and we're going to go in and try our luck here uh, in the depths of Shroud Hearth Barrow. Let's do a quick save right here. Um, not sure why I'm still getting the auto saves. Maybe it's uh, on rest. Uh, I need to. Auto saves tend to be a problem, and occasionally will crash as you pass through cells. So. We'll see. Anyway, I have my ghost with me. I have my lantern. Let's do this. 
I'm not sure if this can be done at level two. Um, I'm not sure I've ever tried it at level two. Um, but there's plenty of Draugr in here, certainly. Um, and I, there's a word wall at the end of it. Um, but if I can get through it, I should get up to probably level three or, or so. Um, and let's get the let's get this lantern going here. That's better. Now we can really see where we are a little bit. Um, I'm only going to turn it on when I really need it because it uses fuel. I have set that up. Um, now I let's see. Now I have to uh, let's see. I have to turn this one back up and then this one back up and that will open that for me. Uh, there's an adept lock here, or apprentice lock. I think I'm going to leave that alone for now. Um, so we're going to head off in this direction. Yes, I do remember the fire trap. I'll let that run its course. And open the door here. I love the look of that. It's just, especially with an ENB running. Look, it's beautiful. Uh, but even without an ENB, they, they did such a lovely job with these ancient barrows and these old Akaviri uh, uh, bow relief stone carvings. But those doors always just look so, so cool. They just, they're so evocative. Um, really wonderful. So let's look at the key here. Uh, Sapphire Claw requires Moth, Owl, Wolf. Okay. Uh, owl's already ready. And two turns on the inner ring. And that should open it. So. Let's see how our friend here, who looks an awful lot like Valgroof. Uh, let's turn on our lantern. And we'll go into sneak mode. Uh, not going to worry about soul gems, because they don't really, they're not really worth a whole lot. Uh, linen wraps, though, I can use to make torches later. And other things as well. Um, now, as soon as we get in here, these sarcophagi open up. I think I have to take this book off of here. Is that what I have to do? Um, or I can just leave it alone. Oh, nope. Oh, he's good. He's good. from the dead. Alright. Ooh, ooh, the ooh. End. Good. I wonder how long that lasts. Now, I didn't notice that there was an enchantment symbol over it. Uh, immortal Ghost, I have to take that at its word. Um, he's going to continue to fight for me. Uh, now we did agree that I was going to take a female companion. So if I can keep that Immortal Ghost along and have a, an excellent female companion, uh, we should be... Ah, that's what I'm looking for. All right. Uh, so let us get that favorited up here. Favorite. And we're going to take these. I already have steel arrows. So that's going to be on number two. So with our Immortal Ghost... Um, there's the lever from the door. Uh, save spam. Um, we should be able to... Well, we're going to give it a shot anyway. 
making it through this. I, I, I have used, occasionally in the past, I have used that little trap there. Um, there is a... trap here. And there is also a skeleton, I believe, right around the corner here. Who will have... Why is he still talking to me? I don't get that. Or am I supposed to believe there really truly is a, a ghost in there? Ah, yes. Now this is where I'm going to need my arrows. I remember this spot. Oh, it's, it's, it's the ghost. It's not Wendellian anymore, it's, it's the ghost. I'm gonna have to remember, He's, he uses the same script, essentially. Um, there is another Draugr over there, but I think, yeah, I can't, I can't get him with an arrow from here. Um, Pops out afterwards. All right, we'll let my the ghost. Got him. All right, excellent, excellent. And took him down a little bit. Let's let the ghost take care of him. Come on. Or am I going to have to do it? There we go. All right. He just had to get back up. Uh, gold necklace, nice. All right, excellent, excellent. And uh, I can retrieve one of my arrows. Save spam. Um, so we're gonna do a little more sneak in here. I hear breathing. Have I missed somebody, or is he on the other side of the door here? Tripwire. I sense a presence. Ah, a presence. Ah, ooh, ooh, he's in. He's got. He's got a bow. He's got the bow thing. Come on, come back. Gotcha. All right. Yes, it does. Now. Da da dum. Da da dum. Da da dum. All right. And pull the. Not that the blades would have any effect on my immortal ghost, I suppose. Um, let's go back to. This guy looks like he could wake up. Good. Okay. Um, so, excellent. Uh, oh, a garnet. Nice, nice. Uh, and uh, what does this guy have to offer? Looks like some more arrows and a silver ingot. Hmm, good loot. This guy looks like he could wake up too. Taken care of. And, oops, search him. More arrows. Excellent, excellent. All right. So that's, whoa, not good. That's what happens when one does not pay attention to one's surroundings. But I think my... Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to do some support here. Oh, you got me. Is that freeze ray? Yeah. That was bad. So, let's go back up here. Oh! So the ghost can trigger that too. Interesting. I'm gonna do a fortify health. Um, because that should let my health 
grow. Then we're going to trigger these guys. Oh, come on. Stop stop doing that. You're supposed to be immortal. All the living shall see. Got him. All right, now. Now the white. Where is he? Don't trigger that. There he is. Restless draw. Pardon me. All right. Oh, for crying out loud. How can a ghost be hit by a steel trap? Ah. Dead. Oh, come on. Excellent. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes Skyrim is pretty funny. Um, all right. Uh, we're going to take another fortify potion. Uh, and we're going to get by here fast before that damn ghost triggers that trap again. Um, all right, and save spam. Um, that unlocks. Have I leveled up again? No, not yet. Ah, uh, yes, this spot. All right. Um, now, there are a couple of minor little things down here, you know. Might as well go grab them. I think there's something. There's like a coin purse. Um, and not much else. All right. Um, let me turn off my lantern. I don't think I really need it quite now. Plus, it looks awfully dramatic without it, doesn't it? I like the look of the lighting there. Um, so, let's just... Now he's behind the door, so we'll let him come out. Right over there. And then we'll dash down this way. Let the ghost take care of him. Try to support him a little bit. Got him in the leg there. Ah. There's a level up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on. There we go. Good. Job done. So let's see, he's already sitting on the damn thing, so I can just read this. I, I can never memorize them. Um, so it is whale, and then there's hawk, right? Whale, hawk. Last one's whale. Whale, hawk. Snake. Whale, hawk, snake, whale. Oh, come on. Ah. I need my lantern so I can see here. Whale. Hawk. Snake, whale. There we are. Right. And sneak mode here. Got him. And down he goes. Get away from the noise of that. Oops, there's a trap door. Watch out for the... Now why didn't he trigger that one?
you're an odd one. More arrows. Nice, nice, okay. Ah. Oh. <laughs> it really is kind of silly. There's no distinction between a ghost and an actual human NPC in terms of damage from things, silly corporeal things. I don't really quite understand that, but I guess it was easier than trying to differentiate. Um, longbow I don't need. I'm going to take the linen wrap, though. Um, save spam. Um, and where are we? Ooh, we're going into the Shroud Hearth Depths now. Pardon me, chewing some ice there. Um, a potion of minor healing, that's worth having. Uh, so I think that after this, let's check our, oh, let's do a level up. Um, we're gonna take another health, and this time we're gonna take an archery point, since that's going to be our main weapon skill. Um, I think after this we might even have enough level to go to Corvanyond with Galmar. That would be pretty cool. Uh, that's if we can make it through this. Now, if I remember correctly, once I go in here, I am on my own. Um, can I talk to this dude? No. So, I'm. here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something a little devious here. Uh, I'm going to take the ring off. Um... And then I'm going to go in here. And now I'm going to put the ring back on. Uh, and hope for the best. Um, Yes, all right. He's got that covered. Got that covered. Oh, I double tapped. I lost an arrow there. Missed that guy. Got him. Who have we got left? Oop, we got that guy up there. Got him. Excellent, excellent. Now we got the slightly battered baddies coming up. There's one there. Ooh, Skyrim Dodge. And I'm missing. And got him once. And got another one. And got another one. Got this guy. I'm going to go right down here. And come up and he'll take that care of that one excellent and do we have one down here or is that a dead body okay that's a dead body and here comes my ghost uh, I, is that one dude over there yes dead now we should get some more and he's dead, and another one over there. And he's dead, and that one there. And he's not dead, okay. He's coming for us. Let's let Ghost take care of him. Not. And you got him, all right, and now the big bad guy. All right, so let's see if we can get an arrow into him right off the bat. And an oopsie, and another one. Where is he? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. And I'm missing. Ah. And of course he has shouts. Don't let him shout again. Don't let him shout again. Excellent. Got him. 
All right. Well done. Well done, Ghost. We did it. Now all it takes is just looting these corpses, and there's tons of them. I want to get that Overlord first so I don't forget him. Nord Avatar. That's Oh, that's part of... Uh, uh, oh, cool. All right. That is part of Imperius. That's the, uh, the race mod by Enai Saeon. Each race has their own quest. Um, and clearing dungeons to learn ancient Nord history is a very cool uh, idea. So Battle Axe of Cold, that's, that's nice. And I'll take back one of my arrows. Um, and let's just go search some of these bodies and skeletons here, see if we've got anything worth grabbing. No, nothing there. An ancient ord arrow there. A body here. Nothing there. Uh, I know I killed a couple over here. What have we got? We've got one guy here. Nothing there. I killed one over here. Was his body still in no, not there? And I killed another one over here. I think from a distance. No, no. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's, well, there he is. Um, and he had some arrows. Good. All right. Um, all right. So that's it for that. Let's head up the walkway here. I think there's a treasure chest and. Word wall too. Um, certainly being a Nord, um, this one has a trap on it. Um, so ancient artifact. That's what that's what the archaeologist is looking for. Excellent, excellent. A staff of avenging wraith. One of my favorite apocalypse. Or no, it's, is it Apocalypse or, or uh, Grimoire? It's one or the other. Uh, one of my favorite spells. Um, of course, sadly, uh, Manfred uh, will not be using it, but uh, it is an awesome spell. Avenging Wraith is... Uh, so when you conjure the Avenging Wraith, the, uh, the Wraith gains 150% of the health of the last enemy that killed it so if you conjure it at the right moment and it's killed by say a, a, a Draugr overlord or something it will come back the next time you conjure it with 150% of the health of the overlord so you can you can get some pretty darn nice effects from the Avenging Wraith I'll tell you what I'm going to collect words uh, this one uh, is, is a, it's a good word if you're you know if you want to calm animals and things like that. Uh, it's just as good as a calm spell. Again, uh, um, we won't be using uh, a whole lot of magic. Shouts, on the other hand, uh, maybe. Um, uh, but uh, right now, Manfred just needs to uh, say, make a new save down here at the end of the dungeon. And uh, again, uh, thank you for joining us for Skyrim Fits and Starts. Uh, with Manfred Testerson in the prologue edition of, of this hopefully uh, interesting series. Um, uh, we're here uh, in Shroudhearth Barrow. Uh, we have made it through, we've killed the Overlord, we've gained the word, and uh, we are with our ghost, our immortal ghost from the ring that we got at the beginning uh, of this, uh, when he spawned into the world. So he was a great uh, asset in making it through this dungeon. Couldn't have done it without him, or at least not without several deaths. So thank you, Ghost. And it's time to take the ring off for now and uh, move on. So until next time, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you again.